Welcome back to Go Riding and our trip to Hanzhou, China. Located right here in the middle of the major manufacturing center is the headquarters for recreational vehicle manufacturer CF Moto. CF Moto specializes in the research and development, manufacturing and marketing of motorcycles and scooters, all terrain vehicles, and utility or side by side vehicles, as well as their own liquid cooled engines ranging from 125cc to 800cc. CF Moto has 20 years experience in the industry and is one of the industry's leaders in power sports products in China and boasts an annual production capacity of 800,000 engines and 600,000 vehicles. The first part of our tour was in the parts manufacturing plant. This was an enormous facility that just keeps churning out an endless supply of all the parts needed for the engine production, which was another area of significant action as the engineers and line workers kept everything moving. From here we continued on to the assembly plant where we watched the assembly process in action as a new sniper unit was evolving on its journey coming down the line. Although selective and carefully approached, we were also shown the R&D department, where design and testing is done. We were very surprised at the access we were provided to what is normally off-limits to cameras. Next step in the process was the test track, where vehicles were fired up and given a short evaluation to ensure that all was working as it should be on the new vehicles. What was very interesting for us to see was how the whole CF Moto operation is like a city within the city. There are staff apartments on site to provide accommodations for the workers, along with an enormous cafeteria for all to eat at. And there was also a recreation room and games room to keep the team busy when not working. This site was massive with everything needed located within the CF Moto complex. While at the plant, Mr. Nee and the lady named April were our hosts as we toured the plant. We also had a chance to interview Mr. Zhu, the plant manager, using Mr. Nee as our interpreter. The first question we wanted to know was what is the biggest challenge facing them as the manufacturer for bringing new products to market? In comparison with the other old manufacturers, CF Moto is uh, still quite a young company, and uh, we have been uh, in this business only for about uh, six or seven years. Take the example of the Canadian market, it's also uh, not a long time for us. So the most uh, urgent and important thing for us is to uh, get our brand name much more established. Addressing a real issue in North America, we also wanted to get their reaction to the issue that some think made in China means lower quality. What you said is true, especially at the very beginning when the Chinese companies are introducing especially their power sports products into the market. So far as CF Moto is concerned, uh, we are taking the advantage of the improvement or the update of the whole industrial level. Uh, on the other side, all the companies now having a better consciousness of the, uh, of the quality if they want to compete in the global market. Many people accuse the Chinese of doing copycat ripoffs of products and reintroducing them as their own. Here are their thoughts on this touchy subject. There is a saying, <laughs> that uh, in direct translation is like this. When you are standing on the shoulders of a giant, you can look further, okay? So, but that's not an excuse. You know, that we do admit that uh, some of the Chinese manufacturers, they are, you know, taking a 100% copy. But I can assure you that CF model is different because innovation or being innovative is one of the principle of a CF Moto. We will have more on CF Moto and our China tour in another show this season when we head out for a test ride just outside of Hanzhou.